banks of the Bridgewater Canal with local councillor Ian Marks, who is now going to give us some comments on today's blockade. Ian, uh, what would you like to say about this uh, great show of public support? Well, yeah, I mean, it's great. There's, n there's nearly 50 boats here. They've come also boats coming from outside to show their support and I'm very much behind the boaters because I think they've been very hard done by by Peel Holdings by putting these swinging increases through and the thing is Peel give them very little back in terms of benefit in terms of facilities and um, you know they feel very angry about it you can tell from all the people here and I'm sort of you know I've talked to a lot of people this morning I've been here quite a while and um, they feel very angry about it indeed they're, they're just incensed at the way they've been treated and they really feel the time has come to, to make a stand. Well, look, the campaign's all about, I suppose, David and Goliath, right? It's, uh, you've got this great big company, Peel Holdings, which is not a PLC, it's owned by one individual. Uh, his name's John Whitaker, and he's got 800 million pounds, and he lives in the Isle of Man. He's, he's Goliath. And the boating people are David, the little people. And they're being pushed around, they're being asked to supply 185% increase to their mooring fees and the way the cost of boating. This means that a lot of people, like pensioners, who are on 3% increase per annum, no way can they afford to pay this, which means they're going to have to stop boating. Now, the, the really sad fact is that Peel Holdings, I suspect, really want that to happen because they don't, by their own admission, there's a guy called Mike Webb, who's the henchman who deals with uh, the cruising clubs and the boaters. He categorically states he doesn't like boats, he doesn't like boaters, and he doesn't much like canals either. What they like is profit and property. And they would prefer it if all the canals were filled in and we built houses. But this is our heritage, 300 years of you know, having canals. And latterly, it's become a very big industry in, for, for leisure. Peel Holdings would like to see that stopped. If you remember a couple of years ago, we, one of the facilities, one of the few facilities that we've got on the Bridgewater Canal is Thorn Marine. And it's a beautiful old listed building. Peel Holdings wanted to tear it down and build a block of flats. One of the very few facilities left, which just proves that they don't like boats or boating. Uh, if we were to go to British Waterways and pay uh, uh, their license fee, they manage 2,000 miles of waterway, they've got hundreds of employees, they maintain the locks, they maintain the paddle gear and all of that. We've got 40 miles of canal here, no locks, there's a handful of people working, maybe six people working on the water, and still they want to increase the prices, and it just isn't fair.